Hey, what is going on guys? YT Canyon here and welcome to a new playthrough that is going to be going on on my channel and as you might have guessed already by looking at the screen, Pokemon Emerald. Yep, a great game from my childhood. I absolutely love the Pokemon games. Uh, grew up playing Red, um, like that was the first game that I had on the Game Boy Color and um, yeah, I thought I might as well get a Pokemon series going on because I do quite a few series on this channel but I never really finish any because they're just games that I don't like to play so... Uh, I thought I might as well do a series that I do like to play, so Pokemon, and yeah, hopefully we can have a good time. Who am I? I'm a boy. I am a boy. Uh, name. Yes, they have numbers on this one. I remember on the old ones they didn't have numbers. Because I, I always got a uh, Growlithe and tried to... Oh, I'm not going to have to fit it all in. I always got a Growlithe and tried to name it Canine as I'm sure quite a lot of people did. They didn't have numbers. Uh, there we go. Canyon. Sweet. So it's Canyon. You're damn right it is. So yeah, I uh, grew up with Pokemon Red. Moved to Gold, Silver, Crystal. That was when I was proper getting into it. I had Yellow as well before that. Uh, then I moved to this one. This is one of my favourite generations, third generation. Um, Emerald, Ruby and Sapphire. I absolutely love them. Uh, yeah. Uh, then it was Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. I played Pearl. Uh, it was the time when I was in about year 10, and uh, it was we had like four of us on the bus playing 2v2 for like battles and stuff. It was absolutely amazing. Our bus journey was about an hour, so um, it was a great time. And then the new ones, Black and White, Black and White 2 are coming out. I uh, have come out, I think. Yeah they, yeah, they are out. I played it. I played the Japanese version. Uh, and then X and Y are coming out, I think they're cool, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, I'm not a Pokemon novice. As I've said, I've played it like a lot. And I Wi-Fi battle quite a bit. I've actually got the Pokemon Online, online Wi-Fi thing. Uh, what time is it here? It's just gone half past four. Let's play realistically. Um, yeah, I have my DS and I have an Ace card. So I can like online battle. And uh, I use my Pokemon Online thing to do 66 matches. And yeah, they're, they're actually really good. So uh, let's just have a look. Do we get a potion? Yes, lovely. So yeah, um, I don't really have an idea of what team I'm going to go with or what starter I'm going to go with. Because on this game, unlike the other ones, the uh, grass starter is actually really good. Trico, when it eventually evolves into Sceptile, it's one of the... Uh, it's actually a really good, really good Pokemon. It's got a re it's really quick and it's got quite a decent skill set. Uh, Leaf Blade's quite, quite a good move. Let's go up here. If you go outside and go in the grass, wild Pokemon will jump out. It's dangerous if you don't have your own Pokemon. Thanks. Right, um... I have got the space bar to speed it up for these bits where I don't have any running shoes and I'll probably use it for uh, bits where I've got to go a long way so uh, you won't have to sit there and watch me walk all the way Right now who are you? Oh, you're Canyon, not new next door neighbour Yes, yes I am Oh, hello, we have a daughter Hold on, how old, how old am I? I think I'm ten Tits um, Oh, I've been caught I'm trying to steal her bike ball Who are you? Everyone knows who I am. I'm May. Right, let's get through all this. We know who you are. Prof Professor Birch's daughter. For people that haven't played this game, where have you been? But yeah, um, there's a professor in each of the Pokemon. I think they're all named after trees. There's like oak, elm, birch, just everything. Uh, I can't remember what the one in the new one's called. The woman. Juniper. That is a tree, I think. Right, what are we going to go with? Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um... <laughs> Trico, Torchic, or Mudkip. I'm going to go with Mudkip because Swampert was my favourite Pokemon from this third generation. Uh, I used him when I did like Wi-Fi battling and he is just absolutely brilliant. He has a great moveset. You can actually get through the whole game just using a, a uh, Swampert. So I keep that in mind. Come on. There we go. Because it can learn uh, Surf, Waterfall, Whirlpool and... Uh, strength cut isn't required for this, so it can learn strength, which is which makes it a really good Pokemon if it can learn all of those. But it makes it a good HM slave if you're not going to use your starter. Um, I probably will pick up a HM slave to start off with. We get that Mudkip. What are we going to name it? Let's name it what well, I couldn't name myself. Let's name it YTK. Very good. Yeah, I think I'll be uh, building a pretty b balanced team. I was going to, uh, I was going to do like an idea. I made a um, 
like a rain team or a sun team or something. But I can't do that now. Well, I can't do the sun team because I've got a water. Well, I, no, I can't learn side of, side of beam. Yeah, I couldn't do a sun, uh, sun team because I've got a water starter. If I had a blazer come, I probably could. And I don't know where to. I don't think you can get like a nine tails or anything. That's the only Pokemon I know that has drought. Oh no, um, I could have got Groudon. Ah, I didn't think this through. Anyway, doesn't matter. I don't really want to use legendaries anyway. But yeah, uh, hopefully this will be a good a good series to do. Because so hopefully it'll be a uh, series that I'm actually like excited about doing. I actually love playing Pokemon, and I just like literally just look for reasons to play it. And I thought, what better reason than to uh, start a series? I know the. Uh, all my friends at college love Pokemon as well. We are like 18, between 17 and 20, most of us. And uh, we still love Pokemon, so it is for any age, literally. <laughs> I'm going to speed up these battles because they're just, they're not like, they're just wild battles. They're not like, you have to do them, so I don't think I'll keep them there. Oh shit, you want to fight? You want to kick off? Alright. Ah, she's a bit tricky. Yeah, um, I don't know why I was surprised she picked Trico. I knew she was going to. Uh, the your rival in like every Pokemon game will pick the Pokemon that the starter that is super effective against yours. Apart from in Black and White, because you have two like rivals in quotation marks because they're actually your friends. So you have, uh, actually no Diamond and Pearl. The bloke's your friend as well, isn't he? I forgot his name is, but he's your mate. Shows how good of a friend I was. But yeah, um, in Black and White you will have. One of them will have the super effective one. I think Sharon has a super effective one. And uh, Bianca's one you're super effective against, I think. Don't quote me on that. It might be the other way around. I only I only say that because in the games they make Sharon out to be a much stronger trainer than Bianca. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to take my word for it, I guess. Right, let's have a look here. Yeah, I beat May on the first try. I'm a beast. Sweet. Got a sweet ass Pokedex. Out to become a Pokemon Master. Alright. Done for this now. Poke Balls. Sweet. Yeah, as I say, I've got no idea, idea what team I'm going to make. Um, so I'll have to sort of just wing it. I know like good teams to make and good Pokemon to have. But it's about finding them to catch them. And, um, what's it? Raising them and stuff. Running shoes. Awesome. Happy about that. Yeah, I just cut that part out there because I ran into a zigzagoon, which is just wild battles. I'm, I'm keeping them in at the minute, but I think I am going to cut the wild battles out because they're just painfully long. My Visual Boy Advance does like to lag a little bit, so there might be a bit of lag in these videos. This is the first video that I'm putting out, so uh, you'll have to tell me what it's like. I might have to like up my frames and stuff like that, I don't know. Uh, I've only just like got fraps and stuff, so I'm getting quite new to that and everything. Level 8. Very good. I have running shoes, don't I? Awesome. I can't run in the Pokemon Center. Ridiculous. Come on, there's Joy, I think, if you're still called her. Oh, no. That's one thing I hate about Pokemon. Press A too quickly, it makes you do it all again. Let's go see what they have to offer at the Mart. They might have some decent stuff. I don't know. I can't remember. It's like potions, Pokeballs, and Paralyzed Seals and stuff. No, I don't want one. I want four. Will do. As far as I'm aware, the first gym is Rock. So I've got a water Pokemon, but at the moment I'm in his mud slaps. So I need it to learn water gun really. One Pokemon I might be getting is I might pick up a Shroomish. Because Breloom's the absolute business. And uh, that would cover me for grass and fighting. Uh, I sort of like to build teams with like multiple type attackers because uh, you can get a lot of coverage that way like because I've I picked a starter that's uh, water and ground that's two types covered so even though it has an electric resistance as the ground typing it gets rid of that D 
damn Poochianas. Yeah, I've got a couple of ideas for teams in my head. I'll have to think about it. Trainer battle. Is this youngster Joey? He always challenged you on a gold, silver, and crystal at the start with his retires. Annoying little bastard he was. Oh no, it's Calvin. Come on then, Calvin. One when I learn water gun. I might have to actually put some background in like research into these teams so I know how screwed I am if I can't like get uh get to the level in time when I've got to fight something. Uh if you don't know the basic storyline for this game, I won't reveal it because it's actually quite a good quite a good storyline. Um as you know from most Pokemons, you should know there's always like evil team. Like in the first ones it was Team Rocket and then uh, it moved to like I can't remember what the second ones were. I think it was it might still been Team Rocky, I can't remember. But then it was like Team Galactic and Team Everything. In this there's two. There's Team Magma and Team Aqua. So uh, we've got to destroy both of those I guess. Oh I thought this was super effective because it's a I forgot it's a bug type and not a poison type as well ground's super effective on poison. String shot. Oh, finish it. Very good. Level nine. What else have you got? Another worm pool. Unique. They really set you bad examples at the start of these games because you always fight people like bug catchers who've got like six metapods. Or like you fight uh, fishermen who've got like five magic arps and it's like you're, just, uh, you're trying to teach me how to play the game if, if I've never played it before and these are the examples you're giving me some bloke walking around with six magic arps I don't know what you're thinking they'll evolve into Gyarados eventually and have six Gyaradoses but it takes ages for them to evolve into Gyaradoses and if he turns up against the fully electric team he's getting shit pushed in people don't think about that do they well the fishermen don't anyway this is taking a while to get to the uh, third town because in this there's, always, there's there's the same sort of structure for every Pokemon game. There's the start town, the second town, and the first one that was Viridian City that does that has it. That one had a gym that you can go to, but it's the last gym. It's sort of weird. This one has a town just like the second town, but it doesn't have a gym in it. It's just where you meet May. Hmm, Talo. Good Pokemon. Lovely critical hits. Hopefully after the yes, water gun. Hopefully after this um, let's play. I'll do some other ones. So maybe like uh, if anyone's heard of Nuzlocke challenges and just different like challenges that you can do. Um, so a Nuzlocke challenge is you can only catch the first Pokemon on on each route you go to. So every time you find a new route. Can only fa you can only catch one Pokemon from that, like the first Pokemon you you see from that route, uh, unless it's one that you already have, and then you can catch something else. But um, then there's like you have to nickname all your Pokemon, and if one of your Pokemon faints, uh, it's considered dead, and you have to put it in the PC and just not use it again for the rest of the game. And uh, if all your Pokemon die, you shit out of luck and you lose. But that's the way it goes sometimes. So yeah, I might do one of those. I might do like a um I tried on my own a non evolved one. So like you had a team and you couldn't evolve it. So I, I had like a uh, Magby uh, this was on a Fire Red Omega where they do it all sort of weird, so it's like a hack of Fire Red. So you can start with like Elekid, Magby or uh Smoochum. And yeah. Pick Magby. I had like Magby, Pikachu, uh what should I have? Like a Geodude or something, it was quite weird. I didn't mean to absor uh, water gun that. This could be a problem. Oh no, I can Sometimes Shroomish is a real pain in the ass if you pick Mudkip to start off with. Because if you find a high level Shroomish, like an eight, level 8 Shroomish, and you're like level 7, and it hits you with a couple of absorbs, you're done. Or it hits a critical hit. Wait, let's wait for a critical hit to happen. Come on. No. 
the thing about Pokemon Let's Plays, ones that I've watched anyway, uh, it always seems to be that when you're recording or you're playing, critical hits always happen against you and never happen for you. But yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen this time. I'm going to actually use a potion because I do not need Mudkip to die and have to walk all the way through here again. Come on, Mudkip, you tough old bird. Keep going. I don't know why I used that potion. I had no idea I was that close. But, you know, might as well use the Pokemon Center while I'm here. I don't think I uh, fully potioned up. Yeah, but definitely, um, def oh, for God's sake, it's going to happen every time, isn't it? Definitely let me know what you think of this Let's Play idea. Uh, if you're going to be sticking around and having a look. Oh no, there's this city first, Petalburg City. It is the same sort of layout. There's a city where the gym you have to come back to. But yeah, definitely let me know if you uh, think this is a series you're going to be interested in. Oh, I don't have enough money. Or if it's a series that you think is a good idea. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll help quite a bit. Leave a comment below. And definitely leave a like. Or a dislike, you know, if you want to be a dick. <laughs> I'm joking. What do you want? He's calling me a rookie trainer, and I know that you can't go in this gym. What a pillock. Dad? Alright. Fair enough. What do you want? I really want to do a uh, playthrough of Pokemon X and Y when it comes out. Which is... I, I don't know. I, I was about to say it's one of the reasons I've done one of these, but... It's not at all, because I didn't think of it until now. But yeah, I might do a couple of Pokemon Let's Plays so that um, when Pokemon X and Y comes out, well, <laughs> when a ROM of it comes out, because that's what I'm playing on at the minute, I'm playing on my PC on a uh, emulator Visual Boy Advance with a ROM of Pokemon Emerald. When one of those comes out, I'll be able to play that. I don't know what other Pokemon games I'll do. Oh, come on, get on with it. I don't know what other Pokemon games I'll do. Probably like, I don't think I'll do the first two. I'll probably do Heart Gold or something like that. Or uh, black and white, maybe. I'm not sure. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll do it. <sighs> Lucky bastard finds a route. And routes are actually quite like, or routes, or whatever you want to call them. This is one of the most painful bits to watch in every game like this, where they teach you how to catch Pokemon. And they teach you wrong, again. He calls his Pokemon back in order to go forward and throw a ball at it. That's not what you do. And he only brought one ball with him. It's embarrassing to be around him. Very good. Can you give him a nickname? Don't even ask him. I don't know why he says thank you to me. I did absolutely nothing. Alright, Wally. Fair enough. See you later, mate. Prick. Right. I will challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. I'll challenge the hell out of her. <sighs> Gotta beat my own dad. Pokemon is one of those like feel-good games, like beating the top guy and stuff like that. It's not one of those games they just give you stuff. What do you want? I am a Pokemon trainer. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you live around the corner? Why have my clothes be dirty? That's not very nice. He's in search of talent in trainers and just goes right past me. Right. Let's have a look. I know there's trainers down here, so. Oh. <laughs> She's not a trainer, so I obviously know nothing. I, um, I am expecting these videos to be quite laggy to start off with as I am using my laptop to do all this like record and play and everything but should be getting my new PC soon either it'll either be uh, like a month uh, either a few days or another month and I'll have it but either way when I do get it you'll have videos coming at you like crazy and they'll be top quality Yes. Oh, 
Ooh, these grass types and stuff. Just I I don't think I've seen one fire type yet. My frames are dropping like crazy, like every two seconds. That is one thing that I do sort of know about fraps, like frame rates and stuff. Mine are terrible. I can already tell that. I get sand in my runners. Right, I think I'm going to call an end to this episode here. Uh, let me know what you thought of it, and I will see you on the next episode.